Okay, this is amazing. We are going to be looking at the fully maxed out Escanor. This is the last evolution he has. And if you watched the last video, you would know that Escanor Day wasn't that good. But then yet again, Aizen, who has multiple evolutions, also isn't that good till the final stage. So I'm very curious to see how strong the final stage of Escanor is. But look how big he is. Like, compared to Metal Knight... He's a very similar size. So Escanor is a huge unit. He does have fire damage, but he doesn't burn. So do keep that in mind. So his DPS would be his actual DPS. But look at the size of Escanor. He's literally just barely smaller than Metal Knight. The axe, make him, the axe does make him bigger though. But dude, look at Escanor. The boy's huge. He looks so, he looks so good. This is also going to be what determines if I get this unit or not. Depending on how good this one is, he does have superior two, and it is max level. But look at this bad boy! The dude has an S plus S minus S minus Escanor. This one is insanely strong. It does have superior two also. And look at that attack though. That is so cool. And whoa, what was that? He just gained sunshine. Which I think increased his damage. Is that a permanent upgrade? Let me let me look at the unit for a second. And see. Does the I think the damage goes up every round. One second. And apparently it's a permanent upgrade too. So every single round he goes up by 7.6% damage and 4.5 range. This unit is actually amazing. Oh my gosh. I don't know how to actually see the DPS correctly because of that. I like to see what the base DPS is, but oh my gosh, the fact that he goes up on damage every single round is amazing. You want to get all of these down immediately if you have this unit. And you're going to have three of these down, so this is an excellent unique also, because uniques are better the less placements it has. Because if you have like a five placement unit like Soifon, it's not the best to have unique, because the overall DPS would be lower, but it's three, so it's excellent. He does have a circle AoE on start, so this is... Oh my gosh, I need to get this unit now. God, you're kidding me. I have no gems. Look at this. At wave 9, he's at 8,000 damage. He gets stronger every round. What's his DPS right now? Literally 1,000 with no upgrades. 8.3 that time. But he is done farming, so let's go ahead and do the first upgrade. Where his damage goes from 8.6 to 16.5 thousand damage on the first upgrade. 7.3 cooldown and 28.2 range. Range does go up, I think, though, so that will change. But already a new AoE. Okay, uh, but let's take a look at that one more time. I, I barely saw that attack. That is amazing. But this is his new skill, Sun Spear. And oh my gosh, that is amazing. Okay, let's... Uh, he's already at 24,000 damage. That, that's not even from an upgrade. That's just from the round. Oh my gosh, okay. And okay, wait a second. So apparently, sorry, I don't know much about this unit. I'm just doing this. So what he does is he continuously buffs himself for 15 waves. So you want to get these down as early as possible when the waves go really fast. But after 15 waves, he stops buffing himself. So that'll be the maximum damage. So I'm just going to let's wait until he's fully buffed and we'll start upgrading him. Because this is, this is only the, like the second upgrade. And the last upgrade was 9.8% more damage. Let me wait. Let me wait one more round just to see if he has any more buffs he wants to do. His damage still went up. Okay, there we go. Now he's done. So now it's been 15 waves total. I'm guessing it was placed on wave three. I thought it was wave two. Okay, this is the second upgrade. So this is the maximum stats of the second upgrade on Escanor. After 15 waves of buffs, his damage is 30.4 thousand, which is 4,000 DPS without any upgrades. Okay. Let's do the next upgrade now, which damage goes up by like 11,000, so 41.5 thousand total, 6.9 cooldown, and 35.4 range. My gosh, this unit's amazing. I might actually have to try to get this unit. But next upgrade, 55.3 thousand damage, 6.9 cooldown, and 36 range. That is very good. Let's go ahead and do the next one after that which will change the attack to cruel sud and oh look at that okay that is cool i guess there's a bigger circle aoe 69,000 damage 6.9 cooldown and 36 range absolutely amazing let's do the next upgrade 
which is 83,000 damage, 6.4 cooldown, and 36.3 range. This unit has an insane amount of damage. He's, I don't even think he's close to being maxed yet, but 83,000 damage, 6.4 cooldown. Let's do the next upgrade, which is 96.8 thousand, 6.4 cooldown. It went down a little bit more. And then 39 range. I need this unit. I really need to get this unit. Okay, next upgrade, which should change the AoE, which will turn into a full AoE. And now he officially hits air units. Look at that. Okay, let's see that one more time. That is amazing. 98.6 thousand damage. Same cooldown of 6.4. And then th almost 40 range. 39.9. But look at that full AoE. But this unit is a fire unit, but it is not a burn unit. So this one will not have a burn effect. So the damage it has is flat. So it's not going to have any extra damage like a Tachi or Yamamoto. But yeah, let's do the next upgrade, which is 110,000, 5.9 cooldown and 40.8 range. This thing always has over 100,000 damage every five, almost six seconds. That is crazy. Is that max? Okay, that, okay, the next upgrade, 138,000 damage. This is amazing. 5.9 cooldown and 41.7 range. And that's not even max yet. Okay, let's do the next upgrade. 172,000 damage, 5.9 and 42.6. And then that is the max upgrades. This unit has almost 200,000 damage as a full AoE every six seconds. That is absolutely crazy. What is the DPS on this unit? And he hits airs too, by the way. 29.3 thousand DPS for 100,000 yen. This unit is so good. Oh my gosh. To compare this to a my Aizen. This is my Godspeed Aizen. This, I don't have this one anymore. But 22,000 DPS on my Godspeed Aizen. This thing is better with Superior 2. I know it has like all S rank stats, but it shouldn't increase it by that much on the DPS. It only increases by that much if it's a unique, but oh my gosh, dude. s -Knorr is OP. You have to get this unit. I'm guessing I'm going to grind my gems and try to get it because this thing hits airs, has a ton of damage. This thing is 100% meta. If you can get a unique s -Knorr, you are going to be stacked for a while. Like literally this thing with unique, which I... What's the unique increase? Let me go look it up real quick. Okay, it's a 300% increase. Which means it should be dealing like 700,000 damage or so. A little bit less than that every six seconds. That is amazing. With the buff, so the 10% buff, it has 180,000 damage. So it went up by 8,000 with that. Which means a 30,000 DPS. That is absolutely insane. Hits airs. Yeah, I should say it again. It's a full AoE that hits airs. This is another Aizen. Yes, get this unit. Um, like Aizen and this unit together, everything is dying. And I'm guessing let's also go ahead and see what the fully unbuffed version of this one at max level is. It's like no round increase, just the flat damage without the round increase. I want to see the difference. I want to see how much damage the 15 rounds adds. Okay, here's the difference. Here is a maxed out Escanor without any of the round buffs. It has 100,000 less damage and like 17 less range that is a huge difference actually wow that buff those buffs really stack and just like one round increased the damage by quite a bit that is a huge difference between a buff version and a non-buffed version yeah get this unit just just get it this one is so worth it oh my gosh and the fact that they have three of these two without unique oh my god oh i love this this unit is so good i need to get this unit now man this unit is so worth getting. I'm so mad I didn't get it. I spent like 25,000 gems, roughly. Probably even 30,000 along because I like 200 tickets, dude. My luck in this game sucks. Of course, the one unit that's like really good in a while I can't get. But yes, dude, thank you so much, Magic, for showing me this unit. Congratulations on getting a fully S one, dude. Imagine you get unique. That'd be insane. But yeah, if you want a good unit to go for, uh, get this one. If you already have Aizen, or if you don't even have Aizen, still get this one. This one might be better than Aizen. Mainly because of the cooldown being super short compared to Aizen. Like, my Aizen maxes out. I have a pretty good Aizen, too. Maxes out at 11 seconds. That's, that's half the cooldown. 
This one is unique, though, so it's insane on everything. But yeah, one more time. Uh, get this unit. It is worth it.